If you are brand new to day trading, one of the most important things you could do is actually visualize and see your win rate calculator and your risk to reward and how they coincide with each other. Because one of the biggest things you have to figure out is not focusing so much on your win rate. That's obviously important. But if you truly have a good risk management system in place, like I use a one to two risk to reward, meaning I'm willing to lose $500 for the opportunity to make a thousand, my one to two. My one is 500, my two is 1,000. Some people say two to one, reward to risk. That's backwards to me. But essentially, I'm willing to lose $500 to make 1,000. To me, that's a one to two risk to reward. And I consistently follow that specific risk management system. By doing that, it means I only need to win 33% of my trades to stay break even. Like that's it, 33%, that's not a very high win rate. It's not a very good win rate, but as long as I win at least that many and I consistently target a one to two and I can weather the storm of losses during that time while I'm waiting for part of my 33% to hit, I'm a break even day trader. So on quantcrawler.com, I've built a ton of tools and a ton of guides, but today I wanna walk you through a couple that I looked at heavily in the beginning and I focused on it until it was locked in up here to know exactly where I need to be, exactly what I need to do, and it just simply helps to see it with your own eyes. Let's hop over to quantcrawler. I'll show you what it looks like and what I'm talking about. So when you come over to quantcrawler.com, if you're not a member, this is what you're gonna see. Stop guessing, start trading with AI. Upload any chart, get exact entries, stops, and targets in seconds, track every trade, see your real edge. You can do a free 30-day trial. And then after that, all that you're about to see is just $9.99 a month. $10 a month. You can cancel it at any time. You can watch this demo of exactly how you use the analyzers, but that's not what this video is about. This is about getting to the tools and the guide section. So once you log in, on the left-hand side over here, you see under resources, you have tools and guides. We are going to start looking at the tools. This one right here, the win rate calculator is important. But before we look at that, we're going to go to this risk reward calculator. This is going to tell you before you go into a trade with your risk to reward, what are you looking at? So entry price, let's just say 100, your stop loss is at 95 and your take profit is at 110. That's giving you a risk of five points to a take profit of 10. A one to two risk to reward, it's good. If you were to change this to 80 to 110, that's a poor risk to reward. If you're willing to lose a lot to make a little, that's not very good. You're risking $20 to potentially make 10. So going back to our example, you're risking $5 to make 10. That's your one to two. Your break even win rate is 33.3%. If you were not tracking this and monitoring this and you were like, 90 and 110. You're a one to one. But if your strategy does not have a 50% win rate, you aren't even a break even trader. So this is cool. One to one is great, but it's not as cool as a one to two. And you have to be significantly more consistent in your strategy, in your performance, in your execution. And it's honestly just more stressful. It really truly is. So you can see again, the further this goes, like let's say 100 break even, you want this at 60. Your take profit to be break even has to be way up here, like even higher than that. I mean, you have to be at 180 to be a one to two. You have to have a massive swing in order for this to happen. So the more aggressive you get and the more room you give yourself on the stop side, you have to give yourself that on the profit side too to correctly get a one to two risk to reward. So on our original example, when you first load in, entry price at 100, just leave it there, 95 to risking five points to make 10, a one to two, your break even win rate needs to be 33.3%. So let's go back to tools and look at our win rate calculator at this point. This is where you can go off of a sliding scale. You can go all the way up to a one to five, but let's just say you have a one to one. Your net P&L at a 50% win rate right there, your zero dollars, your break even. If it comes down just a little and you have a 46% win rate, you are part of the 99% of day traders that fail because you are not profitable. So as you scale this up, 1.5, you are profitable. If your strategy over time only yields a 46% win rate and you don't know why you're not making money, like I'm winning 46% of the time. Well, if you're only getting a one-to-one, -one, you're losing money. If you're not focusing on your risk to reward, you're gonna have a bad time. The next piece I wanna go over with you is right here. It's the guides section. So when you come into guides, there are two things you should be looking at in here. The trading psychology that I've built I spent over $10,000 on day trading courses because I was one of the suckers that fell for it with a guru 
who's like, hey, I have everything you need for this. And then it was this. And then let's do an in-person and all of this. And I totally bought the, the whole system and the Kool-Aid and it was awful. And these two pieces right here, trading psychology and market prep template, I could have had all of these for under 20 bucks um, instead of the 10,000 I paid and it would be worth its weight in gold. So let's start with the trading psychology. You can download the PDF of this whole thing or you can just leave it here on the screen all the time, whatever you wanna do. You can download it, mark it up, do whatever you need to do for you to just read these. These are not, there's nothing groundbreaking in here. These are just things where everyone reads these and they're like, I knew that. I just didn't think about it because you you don't think about the core principle mindset items. You just think about, I'm in this trade, this is what I'm doing. And you don't even realize at the time that you're revenge trading or you're watching the chart, looking at it like, okay, I should go in here, but I didn't. And now, oh, it's going to run, it's going to run. So you take a FOMO trade, you go in and it immediately corrects on you. So this is important to look at. Not as important as this market prep template though. Every single day that I trade, I truly do this. Like I'm, I'm not just saying you should do this and I don't do it. I legitimately do this. The weekly prep, you only need to do that one time. That's on Sunday. Then daily prep pre-market, check overnight price action. When I grab my cup of coffee and sit at my computer at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I scroll back on the five-minute time frame and look what Asia and London sessions did because I typically don't trade Asia late into the night. I trade it until five or seven on Asia Gold on Pacific Standard Time. And then outside of that, I spend time with my family and I go to bed or I'm working on quant crawler. So I look back at what happened after I stopped looking at the charts. I need to know that. What did the price action do? If you don't even look at that, it's crazy to me. Note the pre-market high and lows. Because 8 to 9.30 is pre-market. That's where institutions are playing with money. Retail doesn't open until 9.30. That's why you get the big volume pop. Institutions with millions and millions and millions of dollars are investing their money pre-market from 8 to 9.30. Why would you not want to know what they're doing? You need to review and see if there's any news. Identify if there's any bias based on higher time frames. Look at the five minutes, scroll back, look at the 15. 15 coincide with that. You at least have an idea of what the day most likely is going to look like or it, some kind of insight to what you should keep your eyes open to. Set your max daily loss limit. How'd you do yesterday? Are you down? Well, today you need to be tight. You need to make sure you don't lose more or these accounts are just going to be gone. You need to know what you're going into. Your limit is $300 and you're doing $100 a trade. You have three trades if they're bulletproof and they present themselves. That's it. And then you're done. And then mark out the key levels on the 15 and 5 is what I mean by that. Mark out the Asia high and the Asia low and the London high and the London low. Those are going to be levels most likely of support and resistance. You can look for bounces off of those, see if they're defended. And that will also dictate what New York is going to do if they blow past them or if there's a lot of orders being filled there and it's going to be support and resistance battles all day. Right over here, you have a pre-trade checklist. Is it a high probability setup? I know people are like, hey, time is money. I need to go quick. I get it. I agree with you. You do need to go quick. Taking 15 to 20 seconds to look at this is worth the time than it would be to click into the trade and do this after and get stopped out by the time you're done reading this. So is it a high probability setup? Is entry at a key level and you're not chasing it? Is the risk to reward you're looking at at least a one to two? Is the position size within my risk limits? Are you trading NQ or MNQ? Are you on the right ticker? Are you doing the right thing? One is significantly more expensive than the other and it's the one without the M. Do you have a clear invalidation? Do you know where your stop loss needs to be? And are you gambling or are you actually doing a proper setup? And are you trading during optimal session hours? So what I mean by that is if you're looking at the chart and it's 925 on the New York session and market opens in five minutes, you should not be entering a trade because you do not know what that first burst of volume is going to do. There's zero reason if you are not in optimal session hours that you should be taking a trade five to 10 minutes before market opens. There's no way that you should be doing that. Then at the end of the day, when the market closes, just review it. Did the work you did here in the pre-market match what you see here in the post session? Did you think it was going to be bullish or bearish? Just look at what worked, what performed well. And if you see every single day, you were going to take three trades, you went one for three. And on the two that you lost, you FOMO'd on both of them two days in a row. You know what your problem is and you need to stop. If you can notice a pattern, you can fix it. You can, if you can recognize a pattern, it's fixable. If you're just random and you don't keep track of anything and you don't know what's going on and then you give up on trading, well, it's because you're not consistent. You don't have a way to track what you're doing. So those right there are what I want to go over. Also, this market prep template, you can print this out, keep it, keep it on your desk. You can use this one here. You can check these boxes. You can do whatever you want to do. It'll cross them off as you check them. And it's fully 
set up for interaction. There's a whole bunch of other things in here. You get all of this on your free trial or $10 a month at quantcrawler.com. Check it out. Check these out. Look at the tools. Visually see what's going on on your win rate and your risk to reward calculator. And then in the guides, read the trading psychology and do the market prep. You'll be a better trader for it, I promise.